peace and plants, much love. What I'm about to show you might scare you a little bit. You guys remember the yard and how beautiful it was, but a yard, a garden speaks measures about the time, how many things a person has to do in their life. So bam, this is the garden again. Not as square one because we did do dents and we did make things happen, right? Look at these lilies, just beautiful. No, this started off as one, no, I think it was about three, three or four lilies. This started off as like three or four lilies right here. And what lilies like to do, they're a bulb. They like to spread. They don't like to spread. That's what they do. They're like hostas. I know many people are familiar with hostas. Hostas love to spread. They like to spread and just keep going. So you have to divide them. So what I'm going to do is probably divide this one next year because it's full enough. It's what I needed to be created its own little island right here. But what I really wanted to show you guys was something really, really cool. You guys remember the video on the nectarines, right? On my nectarine tree right here. That's no longer with us. You remember those videos. You remember all the videos, the me chopping the tree down and everything and just having a small funeral for the tree, right? A spiritual funeral. And lo and behold, I came back here and I seen some gold. What's this? This is a nectarine. This is a nectarine. It's two of them actually. Here's the other one. Two nectarines. So they're not actually trees yet. This is when you guys get to see how to make trees, how trees actually form. It's people like us that have to create the, a tree, okay? We have to create it. You have to start to, the, the, the form of a tree, what a tree actually looks like. You have to cut off the leaves at the bottom and you have to cut off any, you know, uh, shoots that are coming out that you don't want to come out because it's gonna be a tree, it's not a shrub. So you want one single stem for a tree. So there's some like processes of elimination that have to go on with certain plants. Now with this nectarine, it's just pretty much the leaves. It's just the leaves. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a lot of life down there, but there's leaves all the way down to the bottom. So what I'm gonna let it do is grow up, grow up, grow up, grow up, grow up. I'm gonna actually let it go out through, I don't know, a month or two. And it should be at least to my waist by then. It should be at least to my waist by then. So that'll be good. And is this another one? Holy cow. No, that's not another one. It looked like a, you see that, that leaf. When you're in the garden, you're always studying that leaf, studying that leaf, studying leaves, just looking, looking, looking. Because you see a, bu a bunch of weeds, right? Look at all these weeds. Look at all these weeds. But it's actually a strawberry patch over here. There's actually strawberries within here. I don't know if you can see any of them. There's one. There's another. There's another. So you got to be very careful. You have to look at leaves. But let me show you guys this amazing thing, amazing things that always happen in a garden, right? Look at this variegated uh, variegated morning glory. What? What? Now these morning glories have been growing in this backyard for years. I mean like 10, 12 years, yo. Never have I gotten a variegated morning glory ever, ever. Never, never, never. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice sight to see. And here's the purple cone head right here. Looks like it's about to start budding, or it actually is budding. Look at that, flowers about to start coming out. You see the leaves. Look at that. You see these beautiful, beautiful leaves and how they're growing. 
and then you're gonna start to soon see purple cone flowers coming out. It's amazing. I think nature is amazing. I think just the existence of us is amazing. And we are like plants. We are like plants. When you're closer to the land of your ancestors, to the land of where you actually are from, there's so much power and so much glory and so many things that happen for you that are unexplainable. And nature shows that. There are certain plants that are indigenous to here. There are certain plants, let me, let me change that. We're speaking about plants, right? There are certain plants that are naturalized and, indig and indigenous, right? Naturalized is a plant that's been there for a long time, but is not from there. A plant that's been there for a long time, it is helping out in nature, it's given, it's taken. It just eased itself into this new environment and is doing very well. That's a naturalized plant. An indigenous plant is one like everybody's grandmother, somebody's grandmother out there an indigenous person, a person that comes from the land. An indigenous plant is one that comes from the land. It wasn't picked up and moved. It wasn't, the seeds didn't cast too far, you know, to another country or anything like that. It stayed exactly where it's from. And I can feel the power. I can feel the glory of my ancestors through nature is just very, very intense and powerful. And a matter of fact, <laughs> the job never stops, guys. You remember this garden? I'm gonna tag my video on this, uh, on this video, on the restoration, the garden restoration and how beautiful it actually was. But listen, guys, when time calls, when you have to do something, you got to do something. You can't just be sitting there talking about, oh, oh, oh. No, when, when the time calls and you have things to do, you have to attend to them. You see my dogs. You see what's going on with the dogs. You see all these types of things. Guys, I'm a busy, busy, busy person. I got kids, I got a late man. I'm busy, busy. I'm a busy person, man, like for real. And, um, but you know, certain times I have to capture a moment. Certain times I have to capture a moment. It's very, very important. Whenever I drop a video, it's important. I'm capturing that moment, you know. And look at these water irises, just tall as heck. Look at this. Look at that. Look. Look at this. Look at, look at this. I'm 6'1". Look. 6'1". And so is this iris. <laughs> it's like, what you trying to say? Oh, let me show you all the compost, too. Um, I actually went back here, but I didn't open it up because I'm like, yo, whatever, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And all that other good stuff, right? But look it. Ooh, catchy. And there's spiders. Look. Look, now it's actually decomposing something crazy because the last, oh, look, 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 look. That mint, that mint. I planted some mint right here, guys, and I started pruning it, and look at what's happening. Look at, and I wanted some of the morning glory to be around. I do. I want some of that morning glory to stay on the fence here, but, you know, that mint. Oh, man, look at this. Look at this. See, I'm going to just have to weed out just a little bit because of that mint right there. And um, it's just glorious. It's just amazing. And that's why I said I feel my ancestors through nature. They never forget about you. You know, you say something to them, they put it in their vault. You know, I almost forgot about this plant. This plant didn't forget about me. Huh. Check that. But like I was saying about the compost, it was... Let me see if I can put the phone down so I can show you guys. Let's see something here. Yeah, so. The 
compost was about it was about that much more in the compost so it went down this much decomposed without me even doing anything without me even trying to do anything at all is what happened and it definitely happened so you know this is just the thing when you out in the garden when you outside doing your thing there's always something to be done your ancestors never forget about you. They're always leaving clues for you to get closer back to them. And these are very similar to the seeds that are always planted, that you always have to go to. You always have to tend to these seeds. You always have to examine these seeds. Check that, y'all, for real. Examine your seeds, man. Don't just go weeding out and everything. It's very, it's many levels to this thing. There's many levels to this thing. Don't start weeding out all crazy. You might be weeding out some good stuff. You might be weeding out some medicine. It may be some medicine. Somebody in the house might be not feeling well or something. And you know, look at that beautiful bird that just went past. Our ancestors are purposeful. They are very purposeful. So you probably have the plant that you need that will cure you right in your backyard. Or if you live in a city, if you're in an area where, you know, things are jumbled up and not as spacious. I'm telling you, your ancestors are going to find you. The cure is going to find you. The easement of the pain is going to find you within nature. But you have to be open to it. You might see it at a garden shop. You might see it at the, 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 the local park. You know, in Philadelphia, we have Fairmount Park. There's so many different plant species that grow. So much food, so much medicine. I used to take so many walks. What? In Fairmount Park when I was young? What? Man. That's a serious thing. It's a serious thing. So we actually have... Let me... So we actually have... Uh, one of our dogs... Is in labor. Right now. So I'm going to have to pick up and go. You see? to the dogs I'm gonna have to go help out I'm gonna have to go spiritually be there harmonize with the with the sounds of labor I'm, I'm about to go harmonize with the sounds of labor and uh, that's a new endeavor that I've been getting into I see you guys are liking it and I do appreciate all that love and everything coming from the dogs man uh, but I like to harmonize with the labor so stay tuned she's in labor right now she's in labor right now you know my mom said anywhere between ugh, she said 24 hours my mom is spot on she's spot on with this stuff when it comes to the dogs and animals and nature and certain things she doesn't even she's so powerful she's spot on she's spot on i'm telling you it's crazy you know i used to younger you know, we're all, we, we should all feel like this about our moms, right? And I'm pretty sure our moms are all like this on a majority level, right? Man, I used to fight with it all the time. And then I just said, one day I looked at her and I said, wow, you really do have the answers. You really do hold the keys. <laughs> Why am I making my life harder? <laughs> so listen to your mom, love your mom. Do what she tell you to do. Oh, oh, look, y'all. I'm telling you what I say about this. Why I just look over and see this? While I'm talking some positivity about my mom right now. Look. Why I just walk over? Why over? Why I just looked over and seen that ladybug right there. Many cultures, many people have different things that they connect the ladybug to. I connected to probably all those things. For real, the ladybug is powerful for me, boy. What? Positivity. Possibility. What? Listen. So, love your mom. Remember I said that. Give thanks for this nectarine that's about to come. All beautiful. Looking all beautiful. About to come out. It's already come out of the ground. Come out of the seed. It, it, it went through its journey. Had all the information within the seed that it needed to come out. And then connected with the soil and the and the sun at the right time and 
It got rained on at the right time and just at the right time, at the right moment, it decided to emerge from the soil. It emerged from the soil, a nectar rain tree, beautiful. And where did it come from? The actual fruit, a nectarine fruit, All right? It ripened out, it fell, maybe some animals, some raccoons and things like that got to it, but they left the seed. Let me show you another seed. This is a, this is a nectarine seed. These are the seeds. You see? You see? You crack that seed open, man. This is a seed right here, you know? They're all over. So this guy didn't make it, but what did nature do? Made that an illusion. <laughs> because this is the offspring of that. What you gonna do about that? Not much, I don't think so. It's just the gloriousness of nature. Stick with nature, stick with what you do. I'm telling you, I don't care what you do in life. I don't care if it's finances. I don't care if it's education. I don't care if it's science, right? Whatever you do in life, you must go back to nature. You must respect your ancestors. It's for you to do. You must understand the workings of nature, which is the unseen. There are rules. It's like traffic lights in nature. I'm telling you, the animals know it. The plants know it. And so do we now. So do we. I heard something uh, from one of my aunts. She called me up and was so excited. She was speaking about some electro culture, right? This beautiful, beautiful word. I said, what is this? I just magnet, uh, just, it was like a magnet, magnetized me. I just, you know, I'm like, what is that? So she explained it and I was blown away. And it has to do with copper in the soil. And it has to do with the vibration of your soil. She said, I had to call you. It was on my spirit. It was on my mind. I had to let you know. Man, we was talking for hours. And uh, I'll do a video on that, on the electro culture and what it actually means and what it does. And I mean, it's supposed to, you know, keep away uh, pests and stuff like that from your garden and all types of stuff charges up your soil. It, it's supposed to do some really cool stuff, but you know, um, you have to see it, you know? A lot of us have to see it. We're very tangible. So I'm gonna show you guys soon. She's in Mexico, my aunt is in Mexico. So I do plan to travel out there and actually see what she's talking about and do some really hands-on videos. And she has a really nice garden out there, man. Really nice garden in Mexico. So, yeah, remember who you are, remember whose you are. No matter what you do, the foundation is nature. Always go back to nature and then come out. You see, you wanna be like a seed. A seed, no matter what type of a plant you're dealing with, right? The seed emerges from the soil and comes out. That's what you wanna do. Start with the soil, for real. The foundation of, of your craft, but I'm talking about the foundation of nature, yo. Because once you understand nature, you will understand life. It'll be a lot easier for you. You'll be a true tenant. You'll be a true, not even tenant, right? You'll be a true... <sighs> you'll be a true body member, you know what I mean? Like a like a leg or arm, man, to this whole thing. So understand it, be useful, do good, be good, think good, smell good, feel good. It's a good thing. So let me get out of here. I've been basking in the sun and talking to you guys all morning. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and check out this delivery, this labor that's going on, you know, and I'm going to take the video with me. I'm going to show you guys. So pay attention and stay tuned. Peace and plants.